clean this real quick you guys are looking very dirty today all right looking nicer all right what is up guys your boy frank from welcome back to a brand new video today's video guys oh my god i'm so excited i cannot believe the support you guys are be giving me in the latest videos including the the short film by the way if you haven't watched my short film it's a long story man it's a long story that i have to tell you but for now just stick to viewing the short film that i put a lot of effort into doing this actually i didn't i just did this in just one day with only one lens actually i was literally reviewing the 35 millimeter i was seeing how it performs in different scenarios and you can see how spectacular that lens look you can see that literally the optic is what matters in terms of doing cinematic projects because the optic is going to give you the character of the film guys but anyway in today's video we're going to be talking about a topic that i mentioned you guys before in the latest video about the most important things that a beginner filmmaker should have currently right now in their pocket like literally this is the when you're making the list of the items that you're going to buy this should be at least the first three objects or things that you should buy as a starter cinematographer or filmmaker all right guys so the first item that I'm gonna be showing you today it comes in this box literally it comes in this box and it's called matte box so this matte box will help you guys to mount filters and you should be saying like okay i can just literally mount <gasps> shut the f you can say like aha oh, yes i can mount any filter lens in my current lens so, well yes but what if you can have the ability to have a single filter for all your lenses come on guys you can't beat that let's be honest you cannot beat that like it's a deal breaker to have the ability to mount any filter in every single lens that you own currently right now well you should buy a mac box this right here ladies and gentlemen i'm just gonna present you how it looks when you open the, the box and i put this right here so i'm gonna review this uh, i mean i'm not gonna review this i'm just gonna show you this uh, when i have it all mounted so you can see what i'm talking about so i already ordered the Starlight um, Small Rig Edition and this is pretty much a very versatile, it is a 4.5 front mount filter. Let me just stick this out of the box and put it right here. This is how it looks, very very pretty, it is carbon fiber, I love that about this matte box. And of course you need to unscrew this a little bit and then you pull it up right this you can see right here right now this is actually a matte box yeah <laughs> congratulations you own a matte box right now you can see how it, it looks look at look at how cool it looks it goes right there in your front lens like you cannot see the matte box even using a wide angle lens because right now i'm using a 14 millimeter fisheye wide angle lens but yeah you put it right there boom you screwed it in your front end mount why do you need a matte box this matte box will give you the ability to mount a very specific filter for you so you can achieve the best exposure at any scenario at literally any exposure setting from the camera you can shoot with this matte box and that particular filter using a 1.8 aperture or lower or i mean or higher in stray sunlight guys this is where this little guy over here comes this is the variable and the filter which means you can literally move or just expose with this filter however you want just by literally scrolling a little wheel that this filter has on top look at how beautiful that thing looks look at that beautiful look at that. oh yeah that's what i'm talking about right there ladies and gentlemen beauty right there beauty i'm just gonna move the camera so i can show you everything how it goes how it mounts Okay, so the way you mount this is pretty easy just take the matte box right here pull these little handles right here until they get to this point just don't be too hard with it because it might break and then you pull it up it's like a magnetic thing and there you go very easy very very easy to do very friendly and right here you have the main filter mount you unscrew it just press this little screw right there that you have this little thingies that's, that's, that's gonna be that's how it's gonna be called okay guys and unscrew this and then you put this apart and you will get this beautiful and the filter right here just like this all right 
there we go and then this is the front part right here this is the front part as you can see i haven't used it you can see the sticker right here still there and i just as easy as this just put it right here slide it in very carefully and it will click once it click it's ready to go it's not gonna fall as you can see ready to go make sure you don't touch the back part like i did literally the first day that i put this filter on i, I touched the back part right there and then as you can see right here if i move this the filter move and it will change exposure you can see there you go and if i go this way it will go darker if i go this way it will go brighter beautiful isn't it so the other thing that you're gonna do it's literally just put this on the table or flat surface and pull this little handle up again and then you have to put it like put these little things first these little tiny handles right there first i mean you don't need to put the handles like upwards again just be careful with it i normally do it like this and then you just close it like this and there you go it's ready to go ready to rock and now this will go on one of these many front filters that this kit actually has unfortunately i do not own any lenses that goes with these filters because these are huge guys literally these are huge like the smallest is uh 67 so i had to order a new set that comes from this on um, specific mat box that are actually from 52 to 67 there's there's like i think i think like there's like four or five different sizes that comes from 52 57 62 whatever blah 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 you got me right there and actually you mount this on your front lens and let me show you how it goes because i actually only got only one lens that is actually like for this specific one so let me show you real quick right now so the only lens that i have i don't know if i can you can see me right here i just moved the camera a little bit upwards so you can see everything but at the same time see me it's pretty hard i don't have two cameras okay so bear with me is the 135 millimeters that i reviewed a couple of weeks ago um this is actually a 82 front filter mount so this little ring right here goes just like this just unscrew the little thingy right here everything is called little thingy for me okay and then just like screw it up like if it's, if it's a regular filter mount or a regular filter just hang it up real good so it doesn't move there you go literally seamless you cannot see it. you got the front adapter right there and all you gotta do is put your lens like this put it right there in a place where it's sturdy give it a little push try to be very precise with this because oh i forgot one part i almost broke this and this is brand new before that you have this little screw right here so you need to untie this which currently might it's yeah it's untied okay and there you go once it's flat like that like it doesn't play around then it's ready to go obviously you need to screw this so it goes tighten but first i really recommend you to first mount the lens and then do this apart because if you mount everything and you tighten everything when you got to the part to put this straight forward so it doesn't like hit any metal or the stabilizer or whatever you're putting the camera in then you won't have any problems but for now because i'm only showing you like this the lens only not with the camera or anything mounted that will be in a future video i'm just going to show you how it looks with everything mounted so let's say for example we had a we have everything lined up right ever so you tie in this little screw right here in the back it takes a little while and then right there and then boom you have it right here guys you can move it around and it's sturdy it's very good this tight very good very tight you can remove this actually if you don't want it um for me i like it because if i uh, for example start raining and just put it like this and it will, it will cover my front filter from rain but there's some specific situation where you you don't need th this upper part right here so there you have it guys this is the the number one thing that every beginner filmmaker aka cinematographer should be buying like the first objects to have a better and clean and uh, amazing good looking images because this will help you get the best exposure with the best aperture and the best settings in any scenarios guys so this is a must have item 
Okay, so there you have it guys. One of the most important objects you should be buying literally right now a map box and you already know why. So the second item guys is specifically for manual lens. So if you don't have any manual lens, just don't worry about it. Just stick to your automatic lens and just do everything you have to do with the automatic lens. Yes, you can put map box on automatic lens. This doesn't have to be necessarily for manual lens only, but I mean, you should use map box in literally every Every lens especially if you're going to shoot outside or if you just want to put a filter on the lens you should be having that so you don't have to be spending literally multiple filters for a specific lens that you have anyway guys so moving on we have follow focus right here guys this is the tilt -off follow focus I found this very interesting guys I found this one very interesting because I love how hard the package is man it's like it's ready to go it's no joke and boom just right in and boom look at how beautiful everything looks there you have it very pretty look at that beautiful so this one actually comes with uh an extra spare focus um teeth for um automatic lenses so that's very beneficial for you if you don't have any manual lenses but you want to have that for your camera it comes with this little dinky that you can use for mount this wheel the follow focus so that's very practical and right there we have the tools for so you can adjust these wheels because yes you can adjust these wheels for your liking because let me pull this out so you can see it better it's a little sturdy there you go let me pull the box out, the box down so this little system right here as you can see when i move this this little wheel moves right and for manual lenses it already comes with the teeth on in the focus ring let me show you right now real quick for example let me show you this is the 21 millimeter you can see in the lens it already has the teeth so basically this teeth goes right here you can see how perfect they fit you just go right in right there and if i move this obviously it won't move because i have it on my hands i wish man i just wish i have another camera so i can show you this but you can i can make it happen if you subscribe yeah i need to get to 1000 subscribers in order to have enough money for me to <laughs> it's hard man it's hard but you get the idea right you get the idea what i'm telling hopefully anyway guys so yeah this device obviously this will go on a system like this this is a this is the lower part where everything goes in a rig you mount the camera right here currently you have the cage and the camera right now and that's how it that's how it's mounted to the tripod so i cannot like remove it because anyway you won't be able to see it so anyway this goes right here there you go as you can see right there and then you have this other screw right here let me let me tighten it up so you can actually like see or imagine how it looks man this is a little bit awkward i wish i have like two cameras actually screw it like this boom there you go there you have it and depending how big or small your lens is then you should like adjust this if i move it like this way you can see it goes like this it tilts and uh yeah you're ready to go you have your focus system and this is actually for the lens stops because obviously every single lens has like a limit what i do is that i put the lens in the minimum focus line i adjust this first and then i pull it all the way back and i adjust the other one and then once you are pulling focus you already can feel when the lens stops and it, it won't let be like you know you won't be like forcing the actual lens to keep focusing or not focusing because it will actually like hurt the lens and you don't want that guy especially for cinema lenses that are super expensive so yeah like this is very useful for this you can literally focus in any angle like literally you can see how i'm literally moving because this is literally you are carrying this with the camera on so you are literally using this and you're like you can you can literally focus in any angle yeah it's very beneficial for indie filmmakers especially if you're if you're like me that you don't have any other people who will help you to do projects then this should be the thing you should be buying like literally right now especially if you're having cinema lenses because this will help you to pull focus so yeah guys those are the two items that i wanted to show you in today's video these are extremely helpful for filmmakers that are literally starting but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed this video i'm gonna try to find another camera so i can like film myself while, while filming actually like a project or something because anyway guys
guys that's gonna be all for today's video thank you for all of your support subscribing is free liking is free supporting is free and all i'm asking is that okay do we have a deal there we go all right guys that's all for today's video i'll catch you out in the next video